Now, this is where it's important because once he uh, gives you an answer to that first mystery you pray up, that then becomes a parable to you. The way you're understanding the word, it becomes, you become your own parable. The way you're understanding the word, it is, you know, because remember, and I talked about this probably in the beginning of the series, and I probably should have said it more, but you know, what is a parable? A parable is where God uses something natural, something you naturally understand to show you something spiritual like he does with the the seed in the ground and the rocks and the thorns he's using something natural to get a spiritual principle over to you well when you get your first revelation knowledge you know the your your spirit is going to receive that in a millisecond you know because your spirit is shown plainly of the father the funny thing is is your spirit does not need a parable your your spirit god speaks to it your spirit just sucks it in in a millisecond knows exactly what god god means but the purpose of the parable is because you have that spiritual mind stuck inside a natural mind um layer after layer like picture if you um dropped you know water spill water on a roll of paper towels you know it's always interesting to see how many layers of paper towels you have to unroll and until all the wet spot uh, is gone you know so layer after layer so remember thought inside thought thought inside thought thought inside thought layer after layer is our spiritual mind inside our natural mind so the holy spirit must edify us up layer after layer um, isaiah 28 we've talked about this before that when he where he's prophesying about praying in tongues he says, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Um, will he build us up? He says, this is the rest and the refreshing. So layer after layer, he wants to build us up above the natural mind. And whenever you're edified above something, you are also mortifying something. You're putting something to death. What you're putting to death is how the natural mind understands the word. Because remember, the natural mind it's still from Adam, you know, it'll legalize the grace or it'll greasify the grace, but it cannot understand the grace. But now that you're born again, now that you have a nature like God, you, you can now understand the things from God. You're now shown plainly of the Father. You now have gone from death to life. You have the same nature of God and you can understand him. So therefore, you receive the word, the revelation in a millisecond, but it takes you a while to bring it up into your mind, you know, to, to kind of read the computer screen of your mind of what that word means. And then as you understand it in your natural language, that then becomes a parable to you. And what happens is then the parable effect come, goes into motion where you, you know, he says in Mark 4, 21, take heed how you hear with the measure you meet, it shall be measured to you. So now through the parable effect, God, as you give yourself to this word that he's just revealed to you, it's going to separate out for you what is the part of you that is spirit and what is the part of you that is natural soul. The part of you that is spirit, where faith comes from, you're going to advance deeper into God because you're going to pull down that part of you that is the natural soul that can't understand these things. That's why he says in Mark 4, you know, does anybody light a candle and put it under a bushel? Of course not. You light a candle, it lights everything in the room. When the light of God's word um, is received by you because you now have the light of the new nature to understand it, it's like a candle being lit in your dark room, in the room of something you didn't understand that now you do understand it. So that's like a candle going off but a candle lights everything in the room so it lights who you are in christ but it also lights and exposes who you are not in christ it exposes that natural mind that legalizes the grace and greasifies it but you must know the difference between the word in you that is exposing the natural soul versus the word in you that is that natural soul being exposed you must understand the difference 
And that's why praying in tongues is so vital. You must walk hand in hand with the Holy Spirit because only the Holy Spirit can use your capacity to understand him to show you the difference between who you are in spirit and who you are in the natural soul. Because remember, you have a spiritual mind inside the natural mind. And, and then if you don't know how to tell the difference, you're going to go out of God. But if you do know how to tell the difference, you can then go into God. Amen? Isn't that awesome? Hallelujah, Jesus. Well,